Welcome to episode 14 of the Unemployed Journeyman here with Fukushima United in the J3 League and this is the playoffs. Welcome to the video then folks and as I said in the intro this is the playoffs and how did we get to the playoffs? Well we had a really poor run of form here a couple of months where we only won one game lost five or six games in this period as well. This really did put us under threat and we was potentially looking at getting the sack towards the end of the season if things didn't improve. Luckily, they did improve in the last few months of the season. We picked up a lot of wins and some really good wins as well. And then in yesterday's episode, two defeats that in the overall scheme of things haven't really cost us a great deal. You could say it may have cost us automatic promotion, but a 2-1 win, uh, uh, sorry, a 2-1 defeat against Ryuku and a 4-3 defeat against Osaka. Two games that really we should have won, but, you know, especially with the form we've been in. But as you see, we didn't. Before that, it was just really inconsistent. If we go from the start of the season, we had an iffy start, but then a good little run of a few wins. Then we had a couple of defeats. Then a little small spell there of, of good results. And then a few not so good. And again, back to being good again. And that's how it sort of carried on all the way really to around here, where we drew, lost, lost, won, drew, lost, drew, lost, lost, lost. You know, and that, like I say, that was a really worrying time of the season. In terms of um, the finances at the club, we have got £273,000 in the bank. That's been slowly declining over the course of the season, but hopefully we'll get a nice little boost up to around here, where we had £1.5 million in the bank at the start of, January, which is when the transfer window opens. We are currently overspent on our wage budget by nearly a thousand pounds, about nine hundred and something pounds or eight hundred and something pounds. Our committed spending though is well under our wage budget. We're eight hundred under our wage budget on the committed spending. We have got a lot of players, if we look at the squad, that are out of contract this this se- at the end of this season. And the likes of Yoshimaru and Yajima and Yamada. I've looked at trying to get them to sign new contracts, but we basically, because we're over our wage budget, we can't offer them the type of contracts they want. I think it was Yamada came back and we tried negotiating a new contract and his agent just told us that although he wants to stay with us, he's not interested in discussing a new deal as we don't think we have the financial capacity to be able to meet his demands so it does look like you know Haragay is another one we'd love to keep but again I'm, we need to wait for it to tick over till we get the new budgets in and all that sort of stuff and obviously if we can get promotion to the J2 league you would expect that our wage budget of £18,785 per week would go up considerably with that um, if we if it's staying at that We are finding out, as we have this season, that it's a very difficult wage budget to work with because it's so small. If we actually look, I don't know where our wage budget ranks in comparison to the rest of the league. So if we have a look at the team detail and go down to the finances, um, salary per annum, I mean, Mito, for example, on top of that, I mean, we are way down here. There you go. Our salary, our annual salary is £833,000 in 17th. So the fact that we finished fifth we are massively overachieving compared to where to what our wage budget is suggesting i'd say mito who are top of that they're in eighth i mean matsumoto are second and they've been relegated R- roliek who are fourth they've been relegated you know brian vecker are 12th with basically a million pounds they're in 18th they're in they may have just survived. I think Roliak actually, I don't know if they have been really, I think they're in that playoff, promotion playoff place. They've played against Sanuki, who were relegated last season with the first team we faced as manager of Fukushima United. So when you look at the actual salary per annum, you can tell by looking at that, that we are massively overperforming compared to what we're being paid. And I kind of feel like saying to the board, look, instead of you, if you want this, pay me this because... If we had £1.18 million as an annual salary, I think we could do a lot more. Well, I know we could do a lot more than what we are at the moment. One other thing I did want to just check on here, actually, is um, 
to do with set pieces. So goals from corners, we're currently seventh in that. I'm not happy with that. I want us to be higher up. We usually do better with set pieces, or I have done better with set pieces in FM in general. So the fact that we're on eight goals from set pieces and you've got the likes of Hashinoe on 14 and Gifu on 12, I really do think we should be further up than we are. If we have a look at the dynamics, the team cohesion is very good. The club atmosphere is average, has gone down. There's, like I say, players, I mean, he wants a new deal to reflect his ability, but when I tried offering him a new deal, he wouldn't talk to me. So I, I don't know what he's expecting from me. Um, Akiyama, yep, yeah, he wants a new deal. I'd love to be able to keep him as well. But again, we can't discuss his contracts until the new season ticks over and we know what our budgets are. And it will literally be a case of we pick the ones we want, the ones we can afford. We let everyone else go. And then we will bring players in. And we, I think we need to do something like with Miyazaki, for example, who's going to be retiring. So that'd be another £300 in the kitty for us. Um, Yamamoto is also retiring. That'd be £2,000 in the kitty. That would be a massive amount of money for us to have. And we'd be looking at spending that on two players. So with him going, we'll get two players in. Um, and I mean, if we look at our top earners as well, he is by far and away our top earner. Lee and Jay, 1300 Sakada, 30, I mean, they've both been worth their 1300 pounds a week, it has to be said. But I think we need to be looking at around a thousand to 1100 for a player. And if we can get someone like with Yamada that, in theory, can play right back or centre back, they need to be able to, you know, attacking midfield centre, striker centre. Attacking midfield left, striker centre. We need players that can play in more than one position because we've got a squad here of, if we have a quick look, 24. Three of those are lone players as well. So, yeah, we, we need players that can play in multiple positions because we, we can't really afford to have a squad much more than about 22. And as you see from our youth situation as well we don't really have anything in the youth system in terms of our youth candidates if we have a look at that this is the intake we have today it says up there a poor intake it's like not even one star uh, for some reason it won't show me the actual star but take my word for it we have got an attacking midfielder central a central attacking midfielder a can um takiyaki kamagai who is one star current ability with two and a half to three and a half star potential that is pretty much it. There may be a right side of winger that could potentially get to three stars. He's one and a half stars at the moment. Ryosuke Shimizu. Probably got that wrong. Um, maybe he might be a player in a few years' time for Fukushima. But yeah, it's a rubbish youth intake. Right, I think I've um, stalled long enough. We need to get into the first of today's matches. I say the first of today's matches. Because hopefully there will be two of them. We've got Kagoshima in a one-off game. It's not a two-legged playoff. It's a one-off one game. We are away from home against them. They finished fourth, I think. We finished third. Uh, so fifth. And then Nara and Awaki are the other team. We really need to hope that they don't get promoted. Because if they get promoted and we don't, they're our nearest and dearest rivals. The fans will not be happy if Awaki go up into the J2 League and we don't. And at the moment, the fans do have a really good opinion of me. Presuming that's still the case. Yeah, A+. Plus. They're disappointed that we've not been competitive against a wacky. So you can imagine how disappointed they're going to be if a wacky get promoted ahead of us. So in an ideal world, we win today. Nara beat a wacky. And then hopefully we beat Nara. But can you imagine a situation where we play a wacky in the playoff final and a wacky beat us and get promoted at our expense? That, that would be the worst outcome of this episode. I'd rather we just lost to Kagoshima and didn't get into the final than that happen. But yeah, I've waffled for long enough. Let's get into the actual game itself. We have got a couple of injury concerns that is stopping us from fielding a first choice team. And that is Kota Mori has picked up an injury. He's out for five months. Um, he's got a broken ankle. He suffered that during the game against Osaka. And Lee and Jay is still out as well as out for three months with a fractured lower leg. So Lee and Jay may well be back in time for the first game of the new season. He is contracted to be with us during next season. In terms of Kotomori, 
he's due to leave on the 31st of January. He'll be leaving. I've not been that impressed with him anyway. And he's going to miss the first couple of months of the new season, even, even if we did offer him a new contract. So this is a team that we're going to go out against Kagoshima with. Yamamoto in goal, Akiyama and Yamada in the fullback positions. Suzu and Matsunagane in the middle. Haragaya, Ozeki and Awano in the midfield. Sawakami and Sakada in the uh, wide positions with Yajima up front. Right, let's get into it. And there is a little bit of hope there for me that we can actually get through these players. I mean, the players are not reacting to my team talk at all. But if I'm being completely honest, I'm expecting defeat in this game. And we just go again next season and try and push on from where we are. Either way, oh, it's over the bar from Sakada. Last season, when we only had half a season at the club, we finished sixth. This season, we finished fifth. So we're showing improvement season on season. That's the main thing. And, you know, what, what I don't want is I don't want to this I don't want this season to be marred by that poor run of a couple of months in the middle of the season because yes, we've been inconsistent. There's another Tanaka. Yes, we've been inconsistent, but all teams are inconsistent. That's why in this league you can win a couple of games and you can just shoot up that table. And that's a goal for Kagoshima. They lead us 1-0. I mean, they have the home advantage. I think that's I think it's unfair if you're having one game that one team's at home. And I get that it rewards the team that finishes higher in the league. You know, the fact that they finish fourth and we finish fifth, they get home advantage because of finishing higher in the league. That's their reward for that. I absolutely get that. But it also kind of doesn't do very much for the team that's that's playing away from home. Right, what I am going to do now, right, a little bit of a reaction there. This is something I did consider doing at the start of the game, but I decided not to. I'm going attacking. I'm, I'm, I just look and I think we're always going to concede goals because we always do. So if we just go attacking and just try and focus more on our strengths, which is scoring, then hopefully that does something for us. We'll probably go this whole half without a highlight now as well because of the fact I've just said that. Sakada's having a poor game. I can't really take him off. I've got nobody else really to bring on for him. Um, yeah, there, there is literally nobody else that we can bring on. I'm going to bring Kato on for Oseki. And I'm, I think I'm going to bring Nagano on for Yajima. I know it, if you look at the star rating, it's quite a drop. But I just... We've got to do something. You just hope, don't you? Right. Gonna make a next substitution. See that Akiyama's playing poorly. Oh, I haven't got um, Miyazaki on the bench. Well, I bring Shibata on. And there's not really anybody else I want to bring off. Amori, no. Do you know what? Let's bring on. I've already brought on uh, Nagano, so I can't bring him on. I think then that's probably all we are going to play. Let's do that. You are to come on. He can't play there, but we'll give it a go, see what can happen. They've got a corner. They put the ball into the box. It's it, the crossbar thing. Even that would keep a pull to save off. But we've put it out for a corner to them again. I mean, we are only 1 0 down. It's worth remembering that. But us going attacking has produced absolutely no highlights for us. I don't, even, I don't even know. I don't even think we've had a highlight in this entire match, to be quite honest. I mean, we've had three shots on target, but none of them have been highlight worthy according to the game. And it looks like it's just petering out. They're now going to get another corner. And this is what I said before about I don't really see the difference between changing things mid game. I mean, that's quite some ball out to the middle, and that is some goal from the edge of the box. I mean, fair play to Kagoshima. Absolutely deserve it. They've been the better team. We've been poor. Suzu's having a bad game in the centre of defence as well. And we're out. We are not going to be in the playoff final. Obviously, we're disappointed. We would have liked to have got through. But 
we go again next season. That's the main takeaway from this. And yep, yeah, we got B. And like I say, we, they were the better team. We can't deny that. Um, we just click through here. And yeah, that's pretty much going to be all she wrote. The season's over. I was hoping we might get some budgets or something come in, but that doesn't appear to be the case. So we'll go through budgets in Monday's episode, which will be the transfer special. And yeah, let's see what we can do for the new season. So thank you very much for watching, folks. Please leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel. I'm sorry I couldn't get promoted to the J2 League, but we'll go again starting Monday with the transfer special. Thank you very much for watching. Bye. Thank you.